Hello everyone, welcome back. One of my subscribers asked me if there's a way to put a picture on this coffee cup we made in another tutorial, which I will leave the link for that one in the description and a card up in the right corner. And with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Open Iron Diffusion. There's two ways to bring a picture in. I recommend to use the loader if you plan on keeping this project together and opened up in another project of any sort. If you bring a picture off the media pool, which you could do so if you like, this is obviously a PNG picture, but I'm going to use a loader that way we can reopen this in any other project and it will stay right on the uh, cup itself just as I did with the uh, the shader I put on it. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. One thing I want to note too, I had a couple times where I lost the transparency on the reflection of the cup. And it turned out to be that pipe router down here. I changed it out and then it was fine. You really don't have to have it on there. Um, the upper one you do, but here you really don't. I did it just to keep it organized. So if you have an issue with that, it will be the pipe rotor. Whether it's the cup, the handle, or the bottom, which you can't even see. Make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. We're gonna add a couple more pipe rooters in to make some room. Click away right about here. Shift spacebar. And material merge. Which I already have typed in. And we're gonna want two of them. Then we'll hold the shift key down. Hover them over till you see both the yellow and blue and let go and it should hook up. I recommend make sure they connected. Click away right about here. Shift spacebar and loader. This is my picture, so I'll just double click it. Now if you hover over it, you'll see it actually says loader right in the description on it. This one won't. Looks the same. Let's connect that one into the second material merge. Get a transform off the uh, toolbar. Right click on the transform. Copy. Click away, right click and paste the instance. You don't really have to do an instance. Um, it just makes it easier for the scale and sizing. Connect that, we'll leave that disconnected for now just because I wanna show you something. Make sure the instance node selected. You want to go up to the center, right click, and D instance. Now we're going to go up to the Y value. Sorry, I meant to click this one. Select the first one. This one, you're going to have to flip vertical. The size and the aspect is why I wanted to make the instance. And in fact, I should mention, um, if you don't know what an instance is, 
It's connected by this little green line. You select it, everything in the inspector that's green. If you change that value, it'll do it in both. Now go ahead and connect that one. Select the uh, instance. I'm going to reset that because I changed it earlier. As you see right in the middle here, you have to match the uh, picture up. It's basically got to have two um, and then match it up in the middle where the seam is. See what I mean there? I found 0.29 to be pretty accurate as long as you're on frame zero. Get up close so you can see the seam, line it up. Now it's lined up, we'll just change the size and aspect to your liking. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope this helps you out.